Spinal adjustments provided by Dr. Chad Rolfson. The Spinal Tuning Chiropractic Center is a Des Moines area low flat fee per month unlimited chiropractic care practice. When life happens, just adjust. Schedule today at SpinalTuning.com. Here's your Daily Planet for Friday, August 21st, 2020. I'm Jimmy Olson. A website decided that Beethoven, the St. Bernard, is the best dog in pulp culture, but they did not consider, quote, legendary dogs like Lassie, Snoopy, Old Yeller, Lady, and the Tramp. Ben Affleck will return as Batman in the upcoming Flash movie. The movie will see the Flash visiting several parallel universes, which is how Michael Keaton will also show up as his version of Batman. There's an Exorcist reboot in the works for 2021, and there's also a petition to stop it. It says, quote, this petition is to stop the greedy Hollywood machine for remaking The Exorcist as we all already know that a remake will never equal the original. Emma Slater from Dancing with the Stars now has her real estate license. See, even the stars need a side hustle or two. A few new releases over the weekend include Netflix, The Sleepover. Also, Netflix is releasing the fifth season of Lucifer. The season premiere of Hoops, also available on Netflix this weekend. And the series premiere of Alien TV. On Apple Plus, the first season finale of Little Voice. New music out this weekend includes Blush from Maya Hawk. Down on the Weed, where the world once was, Bright Eyes. Implode the Mirage, The Killers, The Neon, Erasure. Everything Means Nothing, Black Bear, In a Dream, Troy Savan. Songs for the General Public, Lemon Twigs. The Theory of Absolutely Nothing, Alex the Astronaut. King's Disease, Nas, Restoration from Lecrae. Here on Earth, Tim McGraw. Country State of Mind, Josh Turner, which is a cover album which includes Chris Christopherson, Runaway June, Chris Jansen, John Anderson, Maddie and Tay, and Randy Travis. Chosen Family Tree from Cree Harrison, also available this weekend. Tucker Bethard, King, Espanol, The Mavericks, and 12th from the Old 97s. They're putting together the cast for Scream 5. Selena Gomez might be part of that cast. Dave Grohl has a cameo as himself in Bill and Ted Face the Music. For those of you that like The Masked Singer, they have started production for Season 4 with a virtual audience. A few random facts for your Friday. There's never been a person who was born both blind and schizophrenic. Scientists' best theory is that without vision, a person's brain cannot develop multiple interpretations of the world around them. Long before William Rehnquist and Sandra Day O'Connor were on the Supreme Court together, they were both students at Stanford Law School. They even went on a few dates. There is only one pig in the entire country of Afghanistan. His name is Kanzir, and he is in the Kabul Zoo, since it's, of course, an Islamic country where they do not eat pork and not even allowed to touch pigs. There's no need for any other pigs. Rio de Janeiro is not the capital of Brazil. It's Brasilia, but Rio was once the capital of Portugal. In the early 1800s, the Portuguese royal family fled there to get away from Napoleon. Lisbon became Portugal's capital again in the 1820s. A chemist named William Mitchell is credited as the key inventor behind Pop Rocks, Tang, and Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Bud Light is hiring a chief meme officer, so if you're good at creating memes, this might be the job for you. They're going to pay $5,000 a month. Maybe I can get on this. There's a college in Germany giving away three grants to, quote, do nothing. It's all for an art exhibition on the things people can do to avoid making negative impact on other people's lives. So now during the pandemic, Airbnb has banned all house parties, but drive through haunted houses are starting to pop up for Halloween. Researchers in England say singers should sing softly because this can reduce the spread of coronavirus. And musicians should also play quietly for the same reason. I think I need to check that study. Did you hear about the guy in Santiago, Chile? He's been driving around at night dressed as Batman, making sure homeless people have enough to eat. Today is National Senior Citizens Day. This week in science, a plan to release 750 million genetically modified mosquitoes in the Florida Keys has been approved. They're engineered to produce offspring that die before they hatch. They're hoping it will slow the spread of diseases like Zika. We may have passed peak loneliness in the pandemic. Studies show 
we really felt it after the lockdowns hit, but rules have been relaxed, and we've found things like Zoom to help us connect. So now loneliness is trending down. A study in the Czech Republic found that we can instinctively tell if a snake is venomous or not. Humans have been dealing with them for so long that we've got, we've gotten pretty good at it. In Earth news, experts now say that there's no stopping it. Greenland's ice sheet from melting away. Even if global warming stopped today, there's no saving it. Also, researchers at North Carolina State say climate change could eventually affect hops and change the way that beer tastes. Is homework pointless when kids can just Google the answers? A study at Rutgers found that they are less likely to retain information when they do it that way, so they end up with good grades on homework, but bad grades on tests. In 2008, only 14 students got significantly lower grades on tests than they got on their homework. Today, it's 55%. If you're celebrating a birthday today, happy birthday. You're sharing your birthday with Casey Musgrave. She is 32. Usain Bolt, 34. Laura Haddock is 35. Brody Jenner, 37. Kellis is 41. Tyler and Cameron Winklevoss, 39. Alicia Wheat is 45. Amy Fisher, 46. Liam Howlett is 49. Carrie Ann Moss is 53. Jim McMahon, 61. Kim Cattrall is 64. Glenn Hughes, 68. Jackie DeShannon, 79. It was in this day in 1878, the American Bar Association was founded in Saratoga, New York by 75 lawyers from 20 states. It was in this state in 1887 that Dan Casey struck out in the ninth inning of a game against the New York Giants. Sports columnist Ernest L. Thayer went home and began work on a poem called Casey at the Bat. It was in this state in 1911, the Mona Lisa was stolen from the Louvre in Paris by an employee named Vincendo Perugia. It was recovered two years later. So in this state in 1942, Bambi was released. In this state in 1959, Hawaii was admitted as the 50th state of the Union. In this state in 1987, Dirty Dancing was released starring Jennifer Grey and Patrick Swayze. It was in this date, 1990, Alice in Chains released their debut album, Facelift, including Man in the Box. Weekend birthdays for Saturday, Dua Lipa is 25, Ross Marquand is 39, James Corden is 42, Rodrigo Santoro is 45, Howie D of the Backstreet Boys, 47, Kristen Wiig, 47, Richard Armitage is 49, Ty Burrell, 53, James DeBarge, 57. Tori Amos is 57. Debbie Peterson from the Bengals, 59. Roland Orzabal from Tears for Fears, 59. Colin Ray, 60. Vernon Reed is 62. Cindy Williams, 73. And Bill Parcells, 79. Sunday birthdays include Jeremy Lin is 32. Skylar Gordy, 34. Jamie Lee Kirchner is 39. Joanna Froggett is 40. Julianne Casablanca is 42. Scott Kane, 44. Ray Park, 46. Jay Moore, 50. Shelly Long, 71. Rick Springfield, 71. Rudy Rudiger is 72. Richard Sanders is 80. And Barbara Eden from I Dream of Genie, 89. That's your Daily Planet for Friday, August 21st, 2020. I'm Jimmy Olson. If you enjoyed this podcast, be sure to share it with your friends. You can also subscribe and follow along to the podcast through Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Spotify, iHeartRadio app, wherever you listen to your favorite podcast on that platform. You can also find this podcast and more through my YouTube page, which is my buddy Jimmy 101 Also find these stories and many more on social media by following me on Facebook and Twitter at MyBuddyJimmy.